Welcome back to another video. My name's Ethan. It's June 22 today. And you can hear on the roof and outside. They're currently getting some rain. So, today we're gonna head to the shop. We got a gator that we gotta tear apart. It's got a broken line, a broken cable from the shifter to the transmission. So, we gotta fix that. So, yeah, wrap this up now so I'll show you what it looks like. So, pretty much here's our gator. Um, it's got, you know, pop the bed. The bed's on hinges. One of the lines here, it'll turn flash on. Two lines, one here and one there. One of them, it's this one. It's broken, so the gear shifter is limp. See? Versus this one, you can just see it's got more tension on it. This one doesn't. So, to get to this, it's a process. There goes the neighbor with the tractor. We gotta take these off, that off. We gotta pop this hood. And under here, I haven't taken the other side clips off. I'll have to do that. Go here. Come on. Might be a two-handed job. There we go. There's a basket. Always fills up with water. We gotta take this off. Move fuse box things around. Take the floor out, which involves taking all the sheets off to get to that. This is the third time that it's happened. So yeah, we're going to get straight into it and tear it apart. I'm walking alone, the streets are empty. The only thing I can see is my own silhouette. I'm getting stronger, step by step. The clock is ticking, but there's no time for me. I've been flying from town to town.
town From London to Taiwan I've been all around the globe Trying to protect your soul
Well, that didn't take too long. I got the first three screws out and the fourth one stripped. I'm just gonna grab a drill and drill it out because I'm not gonna put up with every single crap screw. I'm just gonna drill it right out right now. All right, I got it. I just drilled till that screw head was just, yeah, it, whatever. It's hot now, that's hot now. We'll work on the rest of that later. So, I got this apart now where the gear shifters are. This is the one that's broken. Now I can show you the cable. So down there, yeah, I'll let that reach from underneath. It's hard, hard to reach. Anyway, down there, that thing right there, that's what broke. So there's a little cable that goes through this bottom shifter here. So the bottom cable broke. So when you're shifting, you only have one cable now. And that's what makes this thing stay stuck in the direction. Anyhow, just got this in. It needs new. Oh, that's kind of wrecked. Whatever. We need to put new wheels on. This last one wheel. That's the wheel. So, we need to order new wheels for this mower and blades. Mom pulled it in for a pit stop. I need to work on that so she can keep mowing lawn. But yeah, we did the other side last year. I put two new wheels on. Now, this side needs two new wheels put on. But I don't have them, so I just gotta make something work. I think at this point, it's too far gone to even try fixing what's left. I think we just gotta order two new wheels for this deck. I'm not even gonna waste time, because I'll spend 15 minutes on this to mow lawn for another 20. It'll break again, versus if I just order two new wheels, we'll be better off. You can even see this one, the bottom here, it's war smooth. If it'll focus. Yeah, it's not gonna. Oh, there we go. That sucks. Because, yeah, now it's not gonna roll evenly. I'm sure this one's the same way. So we might have to order more hardware. Something should have been said sooner, I guess. This lawnmower also isn't cutting good. So, we'll let that pull the deck off, sharpen up the blades, or check even if the blades are bent. But, when I do that, I know you can take the deck off the old-fashioned way, but to check if we need new blades, I like to use our loader tractor. Except one of them's in pieces, and the other one, see there, it's got a flat tire. So... Yeah, that kind of sucks, but make do with what we can. So, I guess we're going to just, I don't know, put that mower, park it, order parts. I have to see if it needs two new blades, stuff like that. So, more stripped and rotten screws. This one is stripped and rotten, so I drilled it out, but it got so hot it melted a hole in the floor. Frustration. So, there's one more screw here that's stuck again. Gonna have to order a bunch of new screws from John Deere. But, it sticks out here, right there. I'm gonna put a vice grip on it and try and turn it out. Cause I'm getting tired of drilling things out and melting holes in the floor. So, yeah. I guess in hindsight, we should have just bought all new screws, although. That costs money and well, yeah. So, if it keeps happening. So, I mean, yeah, if this thing keeps breaking, I think we might just sell it or something. Well, that's what I'd do. I half joke about it, half not, because it is a huge time consumer every time this breaks. So, yeah. Anyhow. Same thing happened, melted a hole in the floor here, big enough for it to fall through. 
I'm gonna rip out this floor now. And I think that's actually the worst part of this job because the floor is where all the moisture gets then everything rests in. Although we still got three screw holes, one, two, three now to drill out and deal with. But whatever. I haven't been using the impact to take them out. That's not why they're stripping off. <clears throat> I only use the impact on the ones that I, what I do is I go around, I loosen them all with the hand tool and then once they're all a little bit loose then I put the impact on them to make it faster so no I'm not trying to break them away with the impact uh, I might have to take this off to get the floor out I don't exactly remember so I got distracted from the gator to work on this the guy he by accidentally broke the other side too but that's okay because this side the rim it's rotted out. You can see right there. Can you? There's a hole there. Calcium filled tires will do that. So, getting two new tires, two new rims. To the back, we're going with deep tread again. So, yeah, more money on tires, but still have no loaded tractors. Uh oh, they're gonna try and rest us in for tomorrow. We've called a few other shops. Yes, I know. If you're watching this OK Tire, too bad. <laughs> no, just kidding. We called another OK Tire location to see if they would have it, and they're going to call us back. But you got to do what you got to do to get it fixed. I'm battling this gator some more. See, it's coming apart. The floor is pretty much out, but I've been fighting with that. But once the floor is out, I'm pretty much ready because I've taken everything out here. Floor is always the worst part. More see stuff that I've had to drill out and yeah. I mean the rust protection or rust lubrication does help a bit, but anyhow. All right, so we're feeding cows. Since we have no working loader tractors, 6430 is the way to get the floor apart. So in good news, I'm pretty sure I got everything taken apart as far as I need to. Got the floor, got the side panels off, seat off. I might have to do some more stuff here, but I actually think I could be able, or I would be able to get everything. So it's currently getting late. It's eight o'clock. I got to write a reply to a few emails I've gotten. There's still a few issues I gotta solve, like that there, and this here. But, that's almost just a problem for installation. At this point, I just wanna get the cables in, test drive it. So, but, this isn't gonna be the end of the video, but probably in this section here, right after this, it's gonna be the end of the night. I'm gonna put another section on the 6430 and what I've seen there. So just, you'll see that, so. Be prepared. Can't say I've done this before. Drive a tractor with two flat tires. Can't even say I've really done it with one, to be honest. You know what? We're just going to pull in the set forward as much as I like to back in. Both the rims and the tires and tubes are shot, so... Why not? It's not like it matters anyway, does it? Just gotta make sure 
Yeah, it probably doesn't even matter. Oh yeah, I'm gonna put that to the top. The valve stems where it's rotted out. Oh, that one's almost at the top. Shoot, well, we'll go a little more. Um, gonna turn the wheels this way, cause that way this will turn faster. Pretty much at the top. Can't win. I'm gonna pull forward till this one stops leaking because this one's pretty much out of fluid. Whatever. Yeah. Well, it's leaking from here too now, I think. Yeah. It's all just rot. Whatever.